What's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Alex. Shout out to the Elite Fleet. Make sure you like and subscribe so you can become a member of the Elite Fleet. And I'm going to do a reply here to Angry Men's Live, the dark side of college. Is it really worth the investment? Because listen, the manosphere red pill spaces that often collide in ideologies has a lot of good points. But they also have a lot of points that are complete bullshit. It's complete bullshit. Doesn't make any sense. One of the worst pieces of advice that they give men is college isn't worth the investment. College degrees are becoming useless. You shouldn't go to college. It's nonsense. Every single statistical fact will tell you college graduates make significantly more than people who just go to high school. Now, I say this on my channel all the time. I consistently say, young men need to go to college or get a trade, have a whole life from someone with CDLs about how to get your CDLs, how to train for the test, best technique, best places to work at in that same life. I talk about becoming a financial professional, what you need to get, what certificates you need to get, how to promote yourself in that other videos on my channel, I've talked about going to college, the college experience. Forget the fact that you're most likely stepping out, especially if you're in the STEM field, making six figures or more. Let's just forget that fact. The homecomings, the experience, the time away from your family that you're going to get alone makes it worth it. Before we even get into the salaries and the pensions and the 401ks, that people who aren't really entrepreneurs, I happen to have the unique background of having went to college and I own my own business, and I got a trade. So I've experienced all three, which is why I tell young men all the time, either get a trade or go to college. Because all the men I know making six figures or more, most of my friends, male and female, they own houses. Most of them drive around, you know, in higher class vehicles, live in higher class neighborhoods, make well over six figures, Right? So having been able to experience that, having million dollar clients, I can clearly see the benefits of going to college. The talking points against going to college are mostly nonsense. But I can sit there and I can just talk, right, about how most of the talking points about them are nonsense. Or I can just reply directly to the talking points and explain to you how they're nonsense. And that's what I decided to do. All right, so I don't like to talk too much before the video. Let's get straight into the video. All right, this is Angry Man's opinion on why college isn't really worth the investment. Did y'all unhide Kevin? Because I want to know if Kevin has a degree, and I want to know what his degree is in. I want to know what his degree is in. Kevin, do you have a degree, and what is your degree in, sir? Quiring minds want to know. I want to know. Now, while he's asking Kevin if he has a degree, keep in mind, because it's going to be important throughout this video, Angry Man does not. I Angry Man does not have a college degree. Just keep that in the back of your mind. Let's go forward. I said I did. Okay, what is your degree in, sir? What is your degree in? Please let us know. What's your degree in? We genuinely want to know. Well, I can't speak for everybody. I genuinely want to know. BA, Business Administration, Finance, Emphasis. Okay, that's a decent degree to have. That's a decent degree to have, and I'm not even... That actually is a really good degree to have. You're going to be definitely pushing six figures or more. All right? If I know Angry Man, this is most likely going to how much money do you make. Right? Because he's going to try... I can almost, you know what? Let's just see if I'm right. If I know him, that's where he's going. Now, with that being said, with that being said, shout out to Imani. With that being said, what would you say, give me a rough estimate of what you bring down a year? See, I knew it because it's ego based. Yeah. <laughs> it's ego based, man. Listen, now I'll say this in defense of Angry Man. I've had a lot of combos with Angry Man. You know, somewhere we're just kicking it up. Somewhere we're debating. Angry man's ego won't let him admit when he's being ridiculous. That's going to come into play. 
at some point because it's already coming into play right now. <laughs> what, I, what I'm saying by that is how much money the man makes is really irrelevant to the conversation because he's not going to be able to give a right answer. He's not going to be able to give a right answer. No matter what he says, he's going to somehow be broke, which is one of the reasons I hate the talking point against college because one of their big talking points is, well, I didn't go to college and I'm making all this money. I didn't go to college. But, b- bruh, first of all, we really don't know how much y'all money y'all making. Now, we could go to Social Blade and Social Blade to give us an idea how much you're making, but those numbers are always accurate, right? So because you have this question mark over your income, you get to ask everybody else how much income they have, right? When no one knows how much income you have. (laughs) So it's an unfair argument to even have, not to mention the fact that the vast majority of YouTube content creators don't even get monetized. Not only are you monetized, angry man, but you're in the top streaming sections. You get millions of views on your shorts. That ain't normal. Everybody ain't going to be able to do that. So unless your advice to young men is, oh, go start a YouTube, which I've actually heard other content creators say, go start a YouTube, go start a YouTube channel, you'll get paid. Unless that's your advice, I don't see how this is relevant to anything. Unless this man is broke, this talking point alone doesn't work. So let's see if he's broke or not. Give me a rough estimate. You don't have to give me an exact number. I know that's personal for most people. But give me a a, a range of what you bring down a year. Annually, you know, financially. He wants to know how much he makes a year in All right, keep in mind, this point only works if the guy is broke. So let's see if the guy is broke or not. Let's see. Uh, My current plan is 190 base, 380K at OTE. All right. He, the guy makes $170,000 a year base with his useless college degree that somehow wasn't worth the investment. $170,000 a year base with up to $310,000 in OTE. In no way, shape, or form can you call this a failure. And In every way does it support my initial argument of The majority of college graduates are going to make six figures or above, own houses, live in nicer neighborhoods. All right. Now, that doesn't mean there's a downside that comes with that, but there's a downside that comes with everything. You either are a high achiever or you're not. Going to college doesn't mean you're going to do the work to get the job. It doesn't mean you did an internship so you already have some experience. It doesn't even mean you think thought to do that. I did an internship. So luckily, I have a college. I graduated from a college that requires you to do an internship. Some people's schools don't even require them to do it, so they never do it. And then the job is telling them they ain't got no experience. And they're like, well, how am I supposed to get experience if you want to hire me? Well, you were supposed to do an internship. Network. Get to know someone so you knew you had a job coming out of college. But everybody doesn't do that. You know why? Because everyone's not elite. Let it breathe. Run it back. Everyone's not elite. But the reality is college will weed out the weak. Now, some smart people will leave college too, but it will also weed out the weak. Most of the people who go there, if they ain't competent in nothing else, they smart as shit in what it is that they do. Call them a program, call them a bot, call them whatever you want, right? And what they're able to do can afford them a nice lifestyle. They can have a nice family. They can live their version of happiness. In no way, shape, or form should this be an L. But Angry Man is going to somehow try to make this an L. I can almost guarantee it. Watch this. That's not what I asked you. That is what you asked him. Is, is that what I asked him? Yes. All right. Somebody timestamp this video at this point and tell me if I'm crazy. That's exactly what he just asked him, how much he makes. That's what he told him. That's what he said. Is that what I asked him? Uh, we'll we'll put it this way, okay? We'll put it this way. What what did you what did you what did you take down? 
what did you take down in 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 the in the first two quarters? What did you take down in the first two quarters? Shout out to Ernest. He said, I was a PA, got fired for not wanting the jab, became an owner-operator trucker, and I have doubled my income. Word, no doubt, man. Now, there's a guy who was a PA, and I know how much PAs make. I know how much PAs make. Um... He became a trucker and doubled his income. Now, again, like I said at the beginning of the video, my advice to every young man, go to college or get a trade. I repeat, go to college or get a trade. Never in my life would I say a trade is useless. That's crazy talk. Now, the reality of the situation is currently modern men less than Three skilled laborers are replacing every five that retire. Two out of five is the exact number of skilled laborers coming into the force, coming into the trade in comparison to how many are retiring. So overwhelmingly, modern men are choosing not to go to skilled labor route, which is not a good thing, which is why I always say trade or go to college. However, very similar to is important what I said at the beginning of the video. Many, many people who go to college earn well above six figures, have enough money to buy a house, live in a nice neighborhood, drive a nice car. They can afford to have a wife, a respectable wife, a submissive wife, right? As long as they know how to vet, they can afford to take vacations, sit front row at games, etc. They have their upper middle class, all right? And that's my only point. So to ever make an argument that is useless, no matter which argument you make, is wrong. Now, eventually he's going to get into loans and they're going to get into debt. And that's wrong too. But I already know what's coming. But let, let's see what he's going to say. This year through quarter to roughly 170. Okay. That's decent. My man that's said he makes $170,000 a year. This man said that's decent. Somebody timestamp this for me too. Y'all let me know. $170,000 a year. Who's mad at that number? Who feels like that's a failure? Now, some of you may feel like you can go further. Some of you may feel like you can go further. I personally don't find bragging online about your money to really be even worth it. I don't want y'all to know how much money I make. What the hell y'all in my damn pockets for? I just feel like the whole conversation is childish and it's immature. If it's not based in anything real. I give men real numbers. All right, listen. The bare minimum you're going to need to live is about 50000 Unless you live in the back of somebody in Tupelo, Mississippi, <laughs> somebody in um, Syracuse, New York, somebody in Flint, Michigan is going to comment and say, no, over here, Alex, you can live like a king off of $40,000 a year. OK, that's fine. You can have a, a housewife off of forty fifty thousand dollars $50,000 a year. OK, that's fine where you live. But if you live in any major metropolitan city, you're going to need at least bare minimum 50000 to live. You're going to need 75000 to live comfortably. You're going to need $100,000, in my opinion, before you can really afford a family, before you can really start commanding real submission, before you have what's necessary to really get the femininity out of women, to get women's reciprocation because they'll do whatever for you. Right. That's what you're going to need for the family to put your kids in a good school, to have money for their after school programs, tutors, the sports, everything. Right. Or even if you don't want a housewife to become a strong power couple, both of you need that amount. So if you got one hundred and seventy five thousand dollars in no way did you lose. And no way did you lose. But angry man about to try to make it seem like he lose. He lost. Let's see how. But 
I don't know which part of what I was saying that you thought was bullshit. Maybe you can clarify that. But you do realize that a high school dropout is making more money than you, right? And this is what I said was going to end up happening earlier. I said, I told y'all earlier this was going to end up happening. I knew he was going to do that. So now the argument is, oh, well, I, I'm a high school dropout and I make more money. Okay, angry man. On YouTube. Listen, again, I've had plenty of conversations with angry man. I ain't got no problem with angry man. And I don't believe in docs. But you can go and look up Angry Man's order videos and see that the man was broadcasting out of his car 90% of the time. Angry Man, at one point, was living out of his car. At one point, was a barber. At one point, was a tattoo artist. So he was jumping from trade to trade. Didn't know what his purpose was. Putting up YouTube videos out of frustration. That eventually brought him the empire that he now has. And that's great for him. But here's a reality check. Somebody timestamp this one for me too. 90% of YouTube channels never get to 10,000 subscribers. Let it breathe. Run it back. 90% of YouTube channels never get to 10,000 subscribers. Less than 10% of channels are monetized in the YouTube partner program. Less than 10% of channels are monetized in the YouTube partner program. So, Angry Man, you are one of the 90%. Well, really, what I should say in reverse, you are one of the 10%, the top 10% of YouTubers in the entire world. I want to repeat that. You are one of the 10% of YouTubers in the entire world. There are more than 11 million active YouTube channels. There's actually 114 million active YouTube channels. 90% of those 114 channels will never get monetized. Roughly 10,000 of them are partners. 114 million YouTube channels. 10,000s are partners. 10,000 are partners. If you are in the top 10% of YouTube content creators in the entire globe, my man. 90% of people will never be you. So for you to make the argument that you make more than him, so Kyle's is worthless, is stupid. This is point number one debunked. You're a top 10% in your field. I don't give a damn if you're a college dropout, a high school dropout. If you're one of the top 10 people in the world at anything, I don't give a damn what it is. Writing, reading, math, social media, gaming. Doesn't matter what it is. You might just be in the top 10% of the finest women on the planet. You're going to make money. Really, you should be a millionaire. And you're not yet. So pipe down. $170,000 is a win. No matter which way you bend it, twist it, flip it, pop it. Because truckers ain't going to start out making that either. Unless they're in that top 10%. But let's continue. You do realize that, right? He said your point. Ooh. Ooh. Exactly. There's no point. And we don't even know how much you make. If we go on social blade, which I already know is going to be said to be inac inaccurate. It says you can make anywhere from $55,000 to $600,000. That's a big-ass gap. That's a big-ass gap. And we don't even know how much you're getting in donations. We don't even know how, much, how many of your videos are even getting monetized. That's what an assumption that all your videos are monetized, but as a content creator myself, I know they're not. So my point is we have no idea how much you do or don't make. 
So not only is it an argument in bad faith because $170,000 is a win no matter what, it's an argument in bad faith because your argument is, well, I dropped out and I make more than you, and we can't even substantially prove that you do. You're never going to show us a pay slip, and you're not living in a house that says a million dollars. You're not wearing clothes that says a million dollars, which doesn't mean anything. But my point is, we have no solidification of what you do or don't have. And you won't tell us other than that you have more supposedly than anyone who's making anything. My point is, I don't give a damn how much money you have. Telling young men to go to college and they're going to come out making $170,000 is a win. Hence why I tell them to go to college or get a trade. So that they can win. This is just you being in your ego. And it's not an argument against going to college when you're one of the 10% at what you do. And anyone who's a 10% at what they do, and anything is going to make that type of money. In that case, if you're that elite at a scale, if you have that elite of an ability, it doesn't matter if you go to school or not. That makes you elite as an individual. But let's continue. Sassy with me. Don't you get sassy with me, Kevin. I'm tired of you Sasquatches. Don't you get sassy with me, boy. You feel me? The point is that you should be making way more money than a college dropout. I mean, the high school dropout. You see, this is where the man's fear starts to get on my nerves. This is where the video gets good. This is where these guys start to get on my nerves because they flip flop. Why are you saying they flip flop, Alex? Again, Angry Man is in the top 10% of what he does. He's in the top 10% at what he does. If we're going to be technical, if we're going to be technical, Angry Man is in an even higher percentage than that. He's really in the top 5% of what he does. So, essentially, based upon his argument, because he makes more than the average college graduate, college isn't a big deal. Well, here's the problem, angry man. The average high school dropout's funds is not touching the average college man's funds. You are not the average high school dropout. So this is a mute point. It's anecdotal evidence, and you're arguing like a female right now, if we're being honest. Because you're talking about yourself, you're being self-centered, you're looking at yourself and not the whole, and you're using yourself as an example. Any statistical data will show you, if you take the average college student off the street and the average high school student off the street, the average college student is going to be earning more, earning more the vast majority of the time. You earning more than him or anyone else doesn't change that fact when you're in the top 5% at what you do. These, this is the type of shit y'all try to explain to women and then call them stupid for not understanding, but you're making this argument against college that makes no sense. But let's continue. You should be making way more money. Said most high school dropouts don't make that. Bingo. Oh, really? <laughs> Bingo. <laughs> um, here's the thing, bro. You should appreciate this having a degree in business and finance. Numbers matter. And what you will find is that there are a large number of multimillionaires that are high school dropouts. Okay. First of all, a high number is a vast exaggeration. There's not a high number of millionaires, period. If you take the group of millionaires, a high number of them really aren't high school dropouts. Because here's the thing. Someone will say, okay, let's take uh, X Tachyon. X Tachyon is making more than your average college student. But let's take an exceptional college student since ex Tachyon would be considered, in my opinion, an exceptional human being because he was in the top 10% at what he did. If you compare him against a top 10% college student, 
or a top 5% because X Tachyon, similar to Angry Man, really does numbers above the average musician. So really top 5%, you know who that person is? He probably owns, is the CEO and or some type of senior executive at the company that signed him to that 360 deal that y'all tell him that they're stupid for signing in the first place. Let it breathe, run it back. You know what a top 5%, top 10% college student probably is? The boss at the label that signs x Tachyon to that 360 contract that's always called him stupid for signing. My point is, you're exceptional. You aren't an example on this. Neither is the CEO or executive vice president of a company that makes the decision to sign x Tachyon to a deal in the first place. You're both what we like to call anomalies. Again, arguing like the single mother who gets married and says being a single mother won't stop you from getting married. I got married. So go out there and have a baby out of wetlock and put yourself through that BS and hope you're in the 20% like me. Literally arguing like females. But let's continue so we can get to these other stupid talking points and get off of this one. You, you do realize that, right? Sure, but most don't. Okay, we're not talking about... See, if you're talking about most, you're talking about average. We're not talking about average, though. Well, if you're having the conversation about not average, elite college graduates earn just as much as high school dropouts. So what is, what is your real argument here? You're arguing exceptional versus exceptional. <laughs> This, this is a reach. And I can tell he hasn't done any research on this, really. He just wants to win the argument. This is ego. But let, let's continue and see if he makes a good point out of this. This is sounding like a reach already to me. Now we're talking to exceptional versus exceptional. We're talking to exceptional versus exceptional. College-educated exceptional students are going to make as much as exceptional dropouts on average. You say most high school dropouts... You're talking about the average high school dropout. But we're not talking about the average high school dropout. Because why would I compare the average high school dropout to a person with a degree? You're supposed to be above average, right or wrong. But this is a stupid talking point. He said, why would I compare the average high school dropout to a person with a college degree? Because you're supposed to be above average. But he is above average. The average black man in America earns forty to forty-five thousand dollars a year. This man makes a hundred and seventy thousand dollars a year. He makes damn near five times their salary. Let it breathe, run it back. He makes damn near five times their salary. In what way, shape, or form or universe is that not exceptional? Is what I'm trying to figure out. What are you talking about? The only way you can make an argument that he's not exceptional is if you start to compare him. And here's what's crazy. Here's what's crazy. He's not a top 5% of his field. If he did, you would have to shut the hell up because they would be millionaires. But I digress. He's not a top 5% of his field. But you're comparing him against the top 3, top 1, and top 5% high school dropouts. This is a disingenuous argument. He's not exceptional. He never even said he was exceptional. So at this point, you're calling college students exceptional when no one ever said that but you and using that as an argument to compare them against the top 5% of high school dropouts all so that you can win a debate instead of just admitting you're wrong. <laughs> this is hilarious to watch happen, man. But, but let's continue. You're supposed to be above average. Correct? So why would I compare an average person to a person who's supposed to be above average? See, let me tell y'all this trick that he's using. So why I tell y'all women, y'all really should listen to me. Y'all be listening, but y'all don't be listening. Because I be giving y'all a game if you really pay attention. Angry man is using a trick that only works on feminine women with this man right now. And this man's not... He's not... 
having the ability to be able to jump between your masculine and feminine and have your moments of beta versus alpha, like I tell you guys all the time, gives you the type of ability to disconcern this type of shit. Because all he's doing right now, this is how women argue. They use Jedi mind trick shit like this. Let me explain to y'all what he's doing. The reason he's saying, and you're not average, are you? If the boy was smart, he would say, yes, I'm the average college graduate. And I'm making $170,000. He wouldn't even get into the exceptional. Because like I said, Angry Man, really, if we're being honest, is talking about the top five, top three, top 1% of high school dropouts. I don't even know where he's getting this idea that there's all these exceptional high school dropouts because there's not. There are exceptional high school dropouts, but there's not a lot of them. And he's not comparing them. He didn't ask this man who was in the top five, top 10% of his his field. You know how much money people are in the top five or 10% in the financial consultant film field make? Way more than angry man. So again, this is a disingenuous argument. See, that's where the problem comes in with some of you Negroes that get your ass. Oh, and my bad, y'all, real quick. The reason I said what he's doing is he's using a female argument is because he's basically using shame. He's not going to admit that, but that's exactly what he's doing. He's trying to shame the man because if the man would have said he was average, which is what he should have said, angry man was going to make the argument that basically he was supposed to be some type of loser. He didn't have high self-esteem or all that bullshit, right? But if he says I'm above average, that gives him a pass to use motherfuckers like Jay-Z. <laughs> you know what I mean? And stuff like that as examples of, of, of dropouts who ended up making something of themselves. A damn rapper. Not just a rapper, but one of the best rappers ever. As if you were one of the best ever at anything, you wouldn't become a damn near billionaire if you didn't make a billion dollars. But I digress. Let's continue. Your shoulders because you got a degree. You know, they get uppity because you got a fucking degree. See, the point that I'm making... Oh, now the hater coming my- out. Now he's just being a pure hater. This is just pure hateration. <laughs> Like, what, what are you even talking about? But let's continue. Who drop out ass ain't supposed to be making more money than you. But I am. We have no evidence of that. Which means one of two things. It either means that your degree is bullshit or you're an underachiever. Which one is it? What did I tell you? Before he even did it. What did I tell you he was going to do? This is how women argue. Peep game. This is how women argue. Peep, yeah, I told you he put him in a trick bag. He put him in a trick bag. Watch this. I want to go back. I want to go back a couple seconds so y'all can listen to this again. Watch this. Degree. See, the point that I'm making is that my high school dropout ass ain't supposed to be making more money than you. But I am. This is a disingenuous you- argument. Because this argument is basically, I'm making more money than you with no evidence that I'm really making more money than you. I'm just telling you that I'm making more money than you. And my followers are going to believe it because they're my followers, right? So this this is G was based upon that alone. But let alone that, he never said anything about you. He just said, you can't say a college degree is useless because I'm making $170,000 a year. You made it about you so that you could try to steal a cheap victory, which is what you're doing right now. I told y'all he was going to do that. Now watch this. One of two things. It either means that your degree is bullshit or you're an underachiever. And that's what I meant when I said the man was arguing like a woman. That's what I meant. Because what did he say? He said that means one of two things. Because I, as one individual, supposedly make more money than you. That means your $170,000 a year degree is worthless. Make that make sense. Or it means he's an underachiever because he allowed a high school dropout who happened to become a top 5%. Happened to have top 5% elite of the elite ability at a particular scale, figured out what it was and started using it, found his purpose. Because a man in his purpose who happened to find his purpose, harness his purpose and live in his purpose, makes more money than him, his degree is useless. So you either admit you're an underachiever because I make more than you, or you say your degree is bullshit. 
Or you say you're an elite earner so I can then talk about J fucking Z and use that as my excuse to talk about how Jay Z has more money than you. So your degree is useless. It's BS. It's a it's a bullshit argument. It's an argument you can't win because you're never going to be able to prove angry man worth because he's never going to fucking tell you because the minute he tells you everyone who makes more money than him will not be able to tell him to shut the hell up when he talks that money stuff so by keeping it ambiguous and never saying how much money he has he basically uses the argument of how i have more money than you nigga with no evidence but let's continue which one is it is the degree bullshit or are you bullshit The argument is bullshit is what I would have said because it is. False choice. You're an outlier. And you, sir, are not. Okay. Guess See, at this point, he you he's putting you in a position where he wants you to say, okay, so he can go about how he's doing better than you despite your degree with no evidence. No matter what you do, that's what he wants to do. So he's going to put you in a situation to be able to do that. I would have made it difficult by being a dickhead personally. But I can understand why that, why that man didn't pick up on what he was doing. It was very obvious from the very beginning. But let's continue. If I'm an outlier because of the fact that I'm a high school dropout, which means that by definition I shouldn't be making a lot of money, then you're an outlier. But in the negative way. Because if you compare your college degree willed and ass to me, you're supposed to be making more money than me, bro. Shout out to Nat. He's not supposed to be making more money than you because he's not elite in his field. <laughs> Oh, man, this is hilarious. I hope they move to another talking point next because I don't know how much more is I'm going to be able to take before I get a... Like, this is a dumb argument to me. Say, Kevin, super chat. We got words, but don't support the show. Education does not mean success. That's facts. He said not necessarily. Oh, um, Hey, uh, Kevin, I got one more question for you, bro. I got one more question for you. Um, yo, press one if y'all can see me. Presentation on target. Shout out to Heed, he said, for the collection plate. Shout out to Han Solo shot first. All right, we're going to do a little fast forward in here, y'all. Let me ask these ducats up because I can't let Kevin outperform me. So, Kevin, let me ask you this question. Let me ask you this question, Kevin. You feel me? Shout out to King Sigma. King Sim Sigma said, yo, AM, it would it be possible for you to bestow a wrench upon me once more? I got you, bro. So, um, Kevin. I have a question for you. Very simple question. Do you work for another man, Kevin, or do you own your own business? Oh, uh, man. No, he, my man about to use this bullshit-ass argument. Oh, man. All right. Uh, now I'm about to have to cook YouTubers, but that's okay. That's fine. I'll do that. I'll cook the YouTubers. Let's go. I'm not trying to set you up for no joke or anything like that. I, I legit want to know. Do you own your own business or are you working for someone else?
Yeah, Jay Jermaine, I did another wrench purge. So anybody that doesn't have a wrench, but we don't care about the wrenches. Wrench. I got a quick question. At what point does how you get your money matter? As long as you're getting money. So now I ain't about to shame him again if he don't run his own business. Which is ridiculous. You can't shame a man for working a nine to five. How are you shaming a man for working a nine to five when he makes $170,000 a year? Y'all dudes in this YouTube world be creating these ridiculous ass arguments. Like, it's like, yo, this is hilarious. And like, like, it, it really is. It's funny because y'all be really talking like y'all be on some shit. This is dumb. <laughs> This is literally dumb, bruh. I guess this, this argument on so many levels is so stupid. So now if you don't own your own business, if you make over a six figure, it used to be if you were six figures, you high value. But now, now if you don't own your own business, you ain't shit. Oh, man. Let's continue. <laughs> Support the show and you will get a wrench back. Jay Jermaine, you ain't got to worry about that. I got you, bruh. Answer the question, Kevin, or did you leave? I don't understand how this matters. This is also a lot of unnecessary airtime. What are you going to get to the end? Answer the damn question, Kevin, so we can move on. You did answer it. You said you do have your own business. Nah, he said he got his own business. So because he has his own business, it's going to go back into, but you don't make more money than me. He's like high school insults, man. Doesn't matter if he has his own business or not. He's doing good for himself. That's it. Bobby said there's a system at play. Spartans had their workers and elites. They are just humans practicing moving through. I must be missing freaking comments because I don't see where he said he owned a business. I don't see where he said he owned a business. Just acknowledge that your point was dumb because it clearly was. Actually, it wasn't. <laughs> it really was, though. And but this dude do sounds zesty. I ain't gonna lie, the dude do sound zesty, but he had a point. This is this shit is dumb. Just say it's dumb and let it go. My point was dumb, as you put it. Your earnings don't make your point any more correct. It doesn't. And your statement doesn't make your point correct. Yes, it does. Considering the fact that you never even made a fucking point, we're still waiting. Yeah, he, to did. Make a point. he made the point that you were a damn anomaly, which you are. The average high school dropout isn't you, which it isn't. It's not even close to you. So to argue, well, I said college is useless and I didn't go to high college. I dropped out of high school and I made more than you. So college is useless. It's literally some goofy ass, emotional, dumb, I'm going to win no matter what bullshit. Because it's based on nothing. You didn't even look this up before you opened your mouth. You probably didn't even expect to get challenged. Just take the hell at this point. <laughs> and this is my thing. And he's going to try to get people advice. And some people are going to listen to the man. But first of all, why are you even speaking on college? You didn't go, so just don't even talk about it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Why are you even speaking on it? But let alone, you're going to advise some man not to go to college based upon, well, I didn't go to college. I became a top 5% YouTuber, so you can do it too. If you got seven years of your fucking life to give away, waiting for this shit to blow, then yeah, I mean, you got it. But, I mean, if you don't, <laughs> you know, I mean, if you don't have that, or if you're not willing to go through that, then what? Then what?
chat room, has he made a point yet? Like, Other than oh. the juvenile elementary statement that my point is dumb? <laughs> has he made a point yet? Uh, let's go for it. Oh, your face is dumb. Bro, you call him broke. You can't call him you immature talk for talking about how your point is dumb after you called him broke. You already broke the childish line when you called him broke. So what are we really talking about here? My phone. So make your point in the chat room. You can type. I'm pretty sure you can type. You have a business degree. I'm pretty sure part of your education was the ability to type. So make your fucking point, bro. And I'm going to be truthfully honest with you, Kevin. You you asking for the wrong smoke from the wrong person. Because I can tell you this right now. The one thing that they didn't give you with your degree. And the one thing you didn't get in your education. You're not as sharp as me, bro. You're going to end up See, embarrassed. See, this became a straight ego thing. My man came in talking in general. Now this man talking about his goddamn self. Wasn't nobody talking about you, bro. It was, no one was talking about you. <laughs> like, I'm waiting for the next point about why college isn't worth it. And you all you're talking about is your damn self versus this guy who you don't know on the internet. Bro, if you're such a high earner, why you even care? <laughs> self. You mentioned that the reason people get degrees is because they are compensating for something. <clears throat> Actually, Kevin, that's not what I said. I debated you before and took you to school. When did you take me to school, bro? No, you didn't. <laughs> no, you didn't. All right, man. I'm going to leave, I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna leave this joint alone because I don't know. I don't know. They get into some other shit now. All right, I mean, if that's all the points he made, Angry Man called a mean L here, to be honest with you, man. Like, a mean L. And this is why I'm like, you shouldn't really listen to these cats about nothing. Because, all right, a trucker, an elite-level trucker making 100 something dollars a year, we're not having this conversation. But because my man went to college, we having this conversation. Look, listen, at the end of the day, let me tell you something. Angry Man didn't go to college. He's a hater. He ain't going to ever admit he's a hater, but guys, he's a hater. Like that, that's what he is. I want you guys to understand something. What he's doing right now is the equivalent of a woman who's not married, which is I'm gonna make my not married life seem as good as and or better than your married life so I can feel better about not being married. That's angry, man. <laughs> I'm gonna talk about how my college dropout life is better than your life so I can feel better about being a high school dropout. Well, high school, he said. <laughs> so it's worse than college. But my point is, it's not angry man just being like, okay, you did well for yourself. Cool, that's what's up. Or it's just acknowledging that the average person who goes to high school does well too, just like the average person who gets a trade does well because angry man didn't go to high school. He ain't going to say that shit. That's why I say he arguing like a woman. <laughs> if a woman doesn't get married, marriage is never a good thing. It's only a good thing if it happens for her. Let that breathe run it back. A woman gets married, it's never a good thing. It's only a good thing if it happens to her. That's basically angry man right now. He don't want to talk in general. He want to bump egos. <laughs> That's what he want to do. He want to bump egos. You know, so I, I thought this was going to be a little bit different than that. I ultimately turned out to be, to be a bit, to, to be honest with you. But I still feel like a good point was made. Yeah, I feel like people could still take something away from this. So I'll go ahead and post it and leave it up. But I thought there was going to be more actual reasons why college isn't worth the investment. And all I really heard was why well, I make more money than you. You went to college and I didn't. So fuck college. Which is a childish ass argument. Either way, y'all, I am Alex and I am out. Peace.